just want to say this to the Democrats, which uh, I'm an independent who voted Democratic. Do me this favor. Shut the f up. When you win, you get to say what you want to. When you lose, you need to shut the hell up. Oh, President Biden didn't, uh, they didn't get him out the race soon enough. Kamala didn't do this. We lost because we had no game plan. We still haven't solved the immigration problem, have no viable answers, never addressed inflation, bringing all these stupid stars out to rally the vote. What was that? Hey, I love Beyonce. What bringing her out? That ain't going to make me vote a certain way. Cardi B. I like Cardi B. That ain't going to make me vote a certain type of way. You guys lost because y'all stupid. What's up, everybody? I think Charles Barkley has a great, great message there for people that are super loud on the left uh, while Trump is picking his cabinet. You know, guys, I think there's some things that people on the left forget uh, some of Biden's picks for his cabinet. You know, uh, let's not forget uh, Rachel Levin and the uh, um, HHS that he had there. And let's also not forget Sam Brenton, who ended up being a complete and utter <laughs> bag. Um, yeah. You know what? So before, you know, Democrats get on uh, conservatives uh, backs regarding some of Trump's picks, let's take a gander at some of Biden's picks and how they ended up let's get it tv appearance claiming ex department of energy <clears throat> excuse me an ex department of energy official has been wearing clothes from her missing luggage brighton arrested a few months ago was charged with swiping bags from airport carousels fox 26's matthew seedorf is live at houston hobby tonight speaking exclusively with a fashion designer making these claims matthew Brought to you, Jonathan. Everything this woman makes is one of a kind. So now she's pretty confident she knows where her missing clothes ended up. New shocking accusations from a fashion designer in Houston. Now claiming these well-documented and photographed clothes of former Department of Energy official Sam Britton are actually hers from a suitcase reported missing from an airport five years ago. When I just Google him, I saw my outfits on him. Asha Hamseen in her first TV interview speaking with us from a phone in Tanzania. Oh, she's been working for years. Her husband in Houston flipping through Asha's handmade clothing collection. It's a custom made. She, she does it herself, you know, like all this, you know, there is no label you say, you know, you, you can see, you know. In 2018, Asha had been on a trip to Tanzania for the Lady Red Fashion Show. While on a layover at Reagan Airport in D.C., she says her checked bag full of one-of-a-kind clothes vanished. I was crying the whole week because I didn't do the fashion show, and that is in my blood. We tried to look to the camera, and we found, I think we found the bag was on the machine there, but... It was disappeared. We didn't know who took it. Asha filed a lost luggage complaint with Delta Airlines five years ago and hadn't received any new information until December while watching Fox News. Former Department of Energy official Sam Brinton. The then famous non-binary nuclear waste expert Sam Brinton arrested, accused of stealing suitcases from baggage carousels in Minneapolis and Las Vegas. I Google everything and I saw my clothes, my jewelries. Some of my jewelries, my blouses, and the collection is with the same prints. Shocking side-by-side -side images show what Asha thinks are her missing clothes and jewelry on Sam. A missing bag of items she estimates cost $11,000 and a priceless piece of her work. Maybe he likes the designs and this and that, but why? Why somebody clothes? And I don't know how he got the, those clothes. Houston police are now involved in this case. The FBI could not confirm or deny if they're investigating. Let's also not forget Rachel Levin, the HHS uh, appointee by President Biden. And then we're actually going to go on to another uh, ridiculous pick for him, which was Merrick Garland. Let's get it. As we recognize National Minority Health Month, 
I am happy to join my friends at the Office of Minority Health and throughout the nation to ensure that everyone is hashtag vaccine ready. Since the start of the pandemic, data show that racial and ethnic minorities That's a good boy. All right, guys, not to make light about this or make this about anyone's appearance, but which one out of the um, last two I just showed you being Rachel Levin, who was Biden's pick for uh, the health and human services uh, part of the government versus Trump's pick, which was the last one, RFK um, for HHS. Which one, in your opinion, looks like they actually care about their own health more than the other? This is not me shaming anybody or anything like that. It's me putting things into a legitimate perspective. Democrats have a way of going, oh, no, they picked such and such. Guys, every administration has some picks that don't turn out the best. You know what I'm saying? There's no use in losing your mind and, and getting all upset and in a tizzy over every single pick. Trump makes is shaping up to look like a pretty good cabinet that Trump is going to have. And guys, here's the thing I want you to remember as uh, uh, Democrats and, you know, as liberals, I want you guys to remember, this is what the people voted for. Yes, They didn't vote for Washington swamp rats to be in the administration. They want to get rid of it. OK, and people are talking about people are talking about, oh, what about Matt Gates? Matt Gates as uh, Attorney General. Well, well, here's the thing, guys. Uh, let's roll a little video on Biden's pick for Attorney General. We all saw how that turned out. So let's get it. Attorney General Merrick Garland on Capitol Hill today facing heated questions from House Republicans who claim his Department of Justice has become politicized. As Rebecca Kasser reports, this hearing comes after an attempt to hold Garland in contempt of Congress. Justice is no longer blind in America. Today it's driven by politics. In a fiery hearing before the House Judiciary Committee, Attorney General Merrick Garland is defending his Department of Justice, as some Republicans accuse him of using the DOJ to target former President Donald Trump. I will not be intimidated, and the Justice Department will not be intimidated. It's important that, that your department be above reproach, and, 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 and clearly it's not. Today's hearing comes as the former president awaits sentencing after being found guilty last week in a hush money scandal. Despite claims by some Republicans, Garland insists the Justice Department was not involved in that case. He's also shutting down Trump's claims that the FBI was ready to kill him during their raid on Mar-a-Lago in 2022 as part of his classified documents investigation. The allegation is false. As the FBI has explained, the document that's being discussed is our standard use of force um, protocol. The House Judiciary Committee recently recommended Garland be held in contempt of Congress for not releasing audio recordings of special counsel Robert Hur's interview with President Biden. That was related to Biden's mishandling of classified documents and transcripts painted an unflattering picture of his memory. It could influence witnesses' answers if they thought the audio of their law enforcement interviews would be broadcast to Congress and the public. All right, guys, so there you go. You have three of Biden's picks that were absolutely terrible whenever they ended up by the end of their actual uh, regime there. So, you know, I think in the words of Charles Barkley, do me this favor. Shut the f up. All right, guys, this is something else I wanted to bring to your attention. Uh, November 11th, 2024, Attorney General Ken Paxton sues Biden Harris DOJ to prevent destruction of Jack Smith's records detailing lawfare against president donald trump guys the proof's in the pudding here man attorney general ken paxton sued the u.s attorney general merrick garland and the u.s department of justice doj to prevent potential destruction of any records from jack smith's corrupt investigation into donald trump i'll put the links here so you guys can check those out i think it would be a good look for democrats if they didn't lose their mind Every single pick Donald Trump makes. Um, I did see where Linda McMahon was picked for the Department of Education. She has actually um, dealt with 
several of his um, cabinet positions, well, at least one of his cabinet positions in the past. I want you guys to just calm down, relax. You can't get mad over every single thing that happens, you know? Do me this favor. Shut the f up. Just, just relax. Calm down. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully, Trump can steer, can correct course from the destruction and absolutely ridiculous Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have caused us over the past four years. You guys be safe. Be careful. Hey, and in the words of Charles Barkley. Do me this favor. Shut the f up.